Thanks for your time. Let's go to Congresswoman Maxine Waters, Democrat from California. And Congresswoman, I wanted to have you on to respond to something that was said uh, by the White House Chief of Staff, Reince Priebus. Uh, speaking about, you know, we've seen a sort of flurry of activity uh, on Capitol Hill in which James Comey has briefed both the House and Senate Intelligence Committee. There was a, a briefing last week that everyone was lockstep silent out of. Uh, and the Chief of Staff was asked about what exactly is being told, what investigations are being pursued. Here's what he said. Take a listen. I've talked to the top levels of the intelligence community, and they've assured me that that New York Times story was grossly overstated and inaccurate and totally wrong. I know what the intelligence uh, committees in the House and the Senate were told by the FBI, and I know what I was told, and what I will tell you is that story was totally baloney. The story is referring to there about uh, the ongoing investigations that were happening and about the, the, the fact that uh, four different people connected to the campaign had spoken to Russian senior intelligence officials. Do you believe that when Reince Priebus says that? Well, let me just say this. Mike Priebus uh, has been trying to clean up for Donald Trump for far too long. Uh, he's the one that stuck with him all during the campaign. Uh, when he was making outrageous statements, uh, when he was basically lying. And so his time is going to run out. He can't continue uh, to try to defend this president who is entangled with this Kremlin clan of his while they are all seeking uh, really to get rid of these sanctions uh, that are you know, placed on Russia uh, because all of them are connected to the oil and gas industry. Just take a look at this. Take a look at, uh, of course, Michael Flynn, long history of ties to the Russian government, including a paid speech at a party for RT. Paul Manafort, Trump's former campaign manager, paid lobbyist for Viktor Yanukovych, the pro-Russian a uh, politician in Ukraine who fled to Russia in 2014, right. Carter Page, one of Trump's foreign policy advisors during his campaign, frequent guests on Russian state media, held a personal stake in Russian oil and gas interests, Roger Stone, who's worked in the Ukraine, Wilbur Ross, Trump's nominee for Secretary of Commerce, was a business partner of Viktor Veselkoberg, a Russian oligarch and Putin ally in a major financial project involving the Bank of Cyprus and, of course, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, who was the one who negotiated the multi-billion dollar drilling contract with Putin, uh, where they were going to drill in the Arctic. And it has been stopped uh, because of the sanctions that were placed on by Obama. And I want to tell you, I believe that Tillerson's uh, real job is to get in here and get those sanctions lifted. But all of them want them lifted because this Klan, this Kremlin Klan, is all about getting the oil and gas money and doing the drilling. And they need this president. They need this president to get these sanctions lifted. And don't forget, the second executive order that was signed by the president that was 1504, yep. which basically would undo the work that we had done with Dodd-Frank in making these oil companies disclose the money that they were using to bribe these countries with in Africa and other places. And so 1504 was very important because Exxon and others now will not have to disclose right. all of the bribes that they're doing. But these people are all organized around oil and gas. Why are they all in this administration? Why are they all so close to them? And you alluded to and talked about uh, what is going on uh, with this proposal. Uh, that is being pushed by Michael Cohen, the right. president's personal lawyer, who delivered the document. Felix F. Sater, a That's business right. associate who helped Mr. Trump scout deals in Russia and a Ukrainian lawmaker trying to rise in a political opposition right. movement shaped in part by Mr. Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort. Can people see what's going well, on? Why do you think... Uh, they hacked into our election. They hacked into the election because they have to make sure that Donald Trump got elected so that he could help them with what that, I think is a huge 
huge deal, not only to lift these sanctions, but to take over, you know, all of these Soviet countries well, and pull them back into the Soviet Union uh, so that they could have access to all of these resources. It's clear to me. And well, I just think the American people had better understand what's going on. This is a bunch of scumbags. That's what they are. Those are very who strong all words. Organize around making money. Do, who, who, do, who do you mean by that when you call them scumbags? Who are you talking to? Talking all about all of these people who are organized with these oil and gas interests that's you in the administration and in, friends you're calling the of the president of the United States. This back channeling that you see, these are a bunch of scumbags. Secretary that's what of State, they are. you mean the Secretary of the State of the United States? Well, I tell you this Tillerson is there to get these sanctions lifted. I believe it. Just watch him. He's going to continue we, to work on it. This is well, important for him. He was there because he negotiated the deal for Exxon with Putin. All right. Well, that's going to, there's going to be a big fight over that if that happens. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, thanks for your time tonight. I appreciate You're welcome. It. Ahead, as lawmakers come face to face.